Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode, we will learn about two-way data binding. In the previous episodes, we have learned about Angular one-way data binding, which is passing data from template to component or from component to template. Today, we will learn about two-way data binding where we can send data from component to template as well as from template to the component. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you all. Also to learn from you all. I'm bringing you this full tutorial series so that you can master the entire Angular application building process. During the course of these tutorials, if you have any doubts, any queries, just drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support by liking the video and also by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. So far in the series, we have covered around 20 tutorials where we have started from basic angular introduction to CLI, to Angular modules, to decorators, to components, to, and much, much more like directives, NGF, L, switch, for, style, class, uh, data binding, right? So in the past five episodes, we have dedicated to data binding, where we learned about interpolation, property binding, attribute binding, and event binding. In today's episode, we are focusing on two-way data binding. Just to give you a recap, if you have missed out on any of the Angular tutorials that I have shared earlier, I have created a playlist you can check out in the description and also so that you don't miss out on the important concepts and tutorials. Just to give you a recap, what is data binding? Data binding means that we bind the data from the template to component and from component to template. There are different types of data bindings like one-way data binding and two-way data binding. In one-way data binding, we send data from component to view and from view to component. We learned about different techniques like interpolation, property binding, style binding, attribute binding, and also event binding. Today, we are focusing on two-way data binding where we can send data from view to component and from component to the view. So these are the little background and details about interpolation, property binding, attribute binding, event binding that we have covered in previous tutorials. I will not go into the details in this episode, but we will focus on two-way data binding. So what is two-way data binding? Two-way data binding is a technique that allows the user to bind events of elements from template to the component and vice versa. We can send data in both ways, from component to view and from view to component. You can think of it like two-way data binding is a combination of property binding as well as event binding. To use two-way data binding, Angular provides a directive called ng model. Using ng model, we can easily bind the data from component to view and from view to component. How do we write ng model? We write using square brackets in the properties and then with parentheses. The syntax is given here and now we will learn how to do some hands-on practical examples. If you're liking the video, give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Let's get started with some hands-on examples. So this is the example we are building. Let's open it. So to make it easy, I'm just going to throw a H4 for you here. Two-way data binding. Okay, so this is where we will, it will start showing up. Okay, we will learn two-way data binding. So two-way data binding is from HTML to component class and from component to HTML, right? So the first thing we will do is we will create input. Usually, whenever we talk about two-way data binding, 
it is using the form elements like input where you want some input from the user and you want to show it based on some settings right so we will write input and then let's close this here and now we will define ng model right so this is the name you want to give now you can the name that you give has to be the same name that will be in your component class right so let's just say this has first name right now this will give us error because it doesn't know what is first name so we will have to create a variable and let's create first name equal to let's say blank for now it's empty it's fine right so now we have ng model first name and what we will do is using interpolation we will display that value so here we'll put first name so now what will happen is whenever you we enter any data in the input it will automatically get mapped to div via component because this is where it is getting set let's see that in action do you see that here it is automatically coming right now similarly if you print uh, some value and let's say we have a button and we'll say click equal to read first name right so here we are adding a button and let's define this method now in the component And here we'll put a console right so here we are just putting the first name right so now let's see that I'm going to enter a name which is what is also getting displayed now let's open inspect in the console let's clear and now let's click on read first name so it reads a value right because this is the same variable that was binded two way into the component class as well as into the template so whatever value we do it will send this value to the component and in the component it will update the variable name and will back bring it back and display it here so this is one of the techniques which is called two way data binding now if i have to make some notes for you remember that two-way data binding two-way data binding is to is data binding from view to component and vice versa right we achieve two-way data binding using ng model mostly two-way data binding is used by in by input controls input controls where we want to read data from user and also do some operations right uh, we will learn more about it when we come to forms so remember it's a combination where we can send data from template using ng model and in the component we will update that variable we can process it as well right so that that is data binding for you right so this is this is how we achieve data binding in angular this is very helpful when we come to forms right so which we are going to cover in the upcoming tutorials but for you to understand two-way data binding start using ng model put together some code try it hands on let me know if you have any issues i will be happy to help you in the next tutorial we will focus on implementing angular pipes we will learn about what is angular pipes how what are the different types of it how to use them and how to create custom pipes till then Take care. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video if you like it thank you so much again